guys with Bachelor Boys. I'm Jim. I'm Art. And we've come to realise lately that it wasn't just Italians who are masters at shoddily emulating popular American action films of the 80s. Yeah, today we're having a look at Payback, an American-made Rambo meets Commando abomination from 1990. Now before we get started, there's a few things that we have to discuss, such as the fact that it's apparently a trauma release, but don't expect this to be anything like the trauma films you know and love. Also, it's directed by Addison Randall, who just happens to be the grandson of legendary film producer Hal Roach. Now it stars Roger Rod, who according to the back of the case, explodes like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Interesting. Let's have a look at Roger Rod. He's so tired and unappealing. Needless to say, Roger never really made it as an action hero. He's apparently now working as a celebrity poker instructor. Regardless of this, we still respect Roger for giving it a good old go. As for the film itself, it's a big old mess. Basically, the government has been working on some experimental assault rifle, which kind of just looks like a standard grenade launcher with some bits attached. So of course there's some paramilitary terrorist force called Strike Force who are out to get it and for some reason are killing off anyone involved in the project. This guy went on to play Montara in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. So this old man gets all worried and enlists the help of down and out war veteran Jason Shepard played by our man Roger Rod. So when Strike Force kills Roger's streetwise Latino female friend and his quintessential black friend Roger goes on a very brief and crappy mission to eliminate Strike Force. So little happened in this movie that's worth noting. In fact, it seems like about a third of it is footage of people walking to and from their vehicles. So we put together a top five of just that. Eventually, Roger Rod meets up with this woman called Evelyn, who worked on the assault rifle. She's just so motherlike and unattractive that we found it hard to look at her for extended periods of time. When she was first introduced, we kind of got a sick feeling deep within our bowels that perhaps maybe somewhere along the line, she'll hook up with Roger Rod, who's no masterpiece himself. We thought surely not, but then, bam, we are hit with the most unappealing sex scene ever filmed. There are so many ugly, unappealing people in this film. Please take a look at this montage of the many not-so-pretty faces featuring in Payback.
also this computer nerd. He dies. Look at him on the front cover. He's dead, but whoever designed the cover made it look like he's holding the assault rifle. Wow. So eventually Roger and his friend Paul must infiltrate Strike Force. Yeah, but they do it by just slowly walking through their camp, blowing everything up. You know what this reminds me of? That Rambo 3 arcade game where you just kind of walk sideways and shoot at guys? So you're not Rambo. Thanks, Evelyn. So yeah, Roger and Paul kill all of Strike Force and decapitate a paper mache version of their commander. Then this ridiculous twist happens where the old man who was kidnapped by Strike Force reveals that he is actually the leader of Strike Force. This twist is not only really cliché, but in this case it makes no freaking sense. Look, in a prior scene, they actually showed Strike Force interrogating and torturing the old man. Why would they do that if he was their leader? So Paul shoots the old man and the movie ends, but not before this really terrible Strike Commando-esque one-liner. A lot of bodies. A lot of years. Fuck, Fuck it. it. There was also a ghost who closed a door at one point. Payback. You were really bad. Don't watch this movie, folks. Also, it's directed by Addison Randall, who just happens to be the great son. Great son? <laughs> now, before we get started, <laughs> but don't expect it to be anything like the Troma titles you know and love. Also, it's directed by. Fuck! <laughs> also, it's directed by Addison Randall. Fuck! 